Thank you for purchasing the engine alarm call with best shaker. Here is a brief presentation and instruction on its various functions and settings. After you power this clock, if the display is blank, please check the dimmer to see whether it's properly set. It can control the brightness of the screen from 0 to 100. Inside is battery compartment. A lithium battery has been installed in case of a power outage. This part is to show you how to activate the battery backup function. To use the battery backup function, please remove this isolation sheet before setting this clock. To remove this isolation sheet, please use a corn to uh, rotate the battery compartment door and take out the isolation sheet. And you, you can use the same comb to install the battery compartment door back. Uh, when the battery is run out, you can use the same comb to open the door and take out the compartment door and add like this way to take out the battery. This part I will show you how to match the clock with bed shaker. Step 1. Use the included cable to power this clock. Step 2. Insert 3 AAA batteries to power the vibrator. These batteries are not included in your package. You will see the green LED brings on the vibrator when the batteries are correctly placed. Step 3. Press the match button for one second on the clock to match the vibrator with the clock. The vibrator will be vibrated for one second, indicating the match is successful. Uh, let's show you. So the match is successful. Uh, when you take the batteries out from the vibrator, you need to match the vibrator with the clock once again. Now I am showing you how to set the time and the snooze. Step 1. Press the time set button until the digit blinks. Then, please press the up or down buttons to adjust it to the correct hour. When the hour is set, please press the time set button once again to switch to the minute. And the minute digits will also fresh. And it's also to press the up or down button to adjust it to the correct minute. When you are finished, Press the time set button once again to uh, switch to the snooze. By default, the 05 will display on the screen. And then you press the up or down button to adjust the snooze time from 5 to 60 minutes. One completed. One last press of the time set button will end the setup. Setting the alarm is very similar to setting the time. Press the alarm set button and you will see the A1 LED and the hour digit blinks and then press the up or down button to adjust the hour. When you finish, press the alarm set button to jump to the minute. Pre it's also press the up or down button to adjust the minute. When the alarm is set, press the alarm set button once again and both the A2 LED and the digits will bring and you can set the alarm too. The step of setting the alarm 2 is the same as setting the alarm 1. When you finish, you can press the alarm set button one more time to end the setup. This engine alarm features three wake-up modes. Pressing the AL1 on-off button, you will see the A1 LED is lit out. The LED indicator of shaker and sound will display on the this screen. It means the alarm is in both sound and shake mode. The alarm will ring and the vibrator will shake in this mode. Holding the vibrator button for 3 seconds, when the shaker icon is lit up, 
uh, the alarm is on the shake mode. It means the alarm will not ring and the vibrator will shake. Holding the vibrator button again for 3 seconds, uh, the sound icons will lift out. So the alarm is in the sound mode. Uh, the alarm will ring. The vibrator will not shake. This part is to show you how to use the alarm and snooze functions. If you want to turn on the alarm function, you can press the AL1 on or off button or AL2 on or off button. When the A1 LED or A2 LED is lit up on the display, it means the alarm is on. When the alarm is going off, you can press any button except the snooze button on the top to stop the alarm of the day. Pressing the snooze button will repeat the alarm by default in 5 minutes. When the alarm and bed shaker are not working, you can press the AL1 on or off button and AL2 on or off button to stop the alarm permanently. Then A1 LED and A2 LED icon will disappear. The bed shaker has three different vibration intensity. Slide the adjustment button on the bed shaker to select the intensity from weak, medium to strong. This is weak. This is medium. This is strong. To switch between 12 hour format and 24 hour format, you can press this button and you will see the 12 hour or 24 hour show on the display. In the 12 hour format, the PM LED will light up to show the correct time. But in 12 hour format, there is no AM icon display on the screen at the AM time. Lastly, included on this clock is a USB charger that can be used to charge your phone. Thank you for taking a look at our engine alarm clock. And then if you have any problem about this clock, please contact us. We will try our best to help you.